Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing another full face palette challenge. Today I'm going to do my full face of makeup using only the original ABH Norvina palette. Now this is a gorgeous palette, and it is going to be a slight challenge. There are some shades in here that I think might be easy to pick out for like bronzer and contour, but for like my brows and for some other things, I think it's going to be a little bit of a challenge here. So I'm excited to go ahead and get started. If you haven't seen any of my other full face palette challenges, I do have a full playlist. I'll throw it up in the cards. But the way that I approach this is less from like a gimmicky, here's a thing for a video idea, and more as like a serious, I'm going to try and get the best look that I can out of a single palette. I haven't done one of these with an ABH palette in a long time. So I'm I'm excited to get back in and get used to using this formula again because I know it's going to be super, super, super pigmented. In order to get the best results possible, I've already got my base down, so all I did was primer, foundation, concealer, and then I just set it all down with powder. My eyes are looking a little blank because I don't have eye primer on. I will put eye primer on once we're done with the eyebrows, so I kind of want to do eyebrows first, um, and that's going to be a challenge here because I'm looking at all the shades here, and I think the darkest one's going to be like this dark purple over here. Typically, I use black, just black shadow or black cream shadow in my brows to have it match my hair perfectly, and I think that like that dark purple is the closest that we're going to get, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go over this for my brows. All right, so definitely looking a lot warmer than usual. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Volatile to see if I can try to like neutralize that out. Okay, not too shabby though. I think I did do a little too blocky on this side. I'll see if I can go in with a spoolie and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh that out. <laughs> That's a little better. There we go. Okay, so moving on to bronzer and contour. So I do want to do a regular kind of bronzer and contour. Uh, looking at the shades, I'm thinking the shade Incense would be a good bronzer for my skin tone. And then for contour, I was thinking of the shade Volatile, because I think the rest of the shades in here are a little too uh, warm toned to be a good like shadow for the contour. So I'm going to start with Volatile. And here's where it's going to get a little bit difficult, because I know these shades are super, super pigmented and I can't use too much. So I'm going to dip it lightly and then like dip it on the back of my hand to get a little bit of this. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to place it because I do think it would stain a bit more. I'm going to actually try to like buff it in. I also like to contour a little bit like on the um, corners of my forehead. So I'm going to do a little bit up there, like straight into the hairline. Looks like a bruise, doesn't it? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm, I bruise like a peach. Like literally, I bump into doors all the time and then I get little bruises everywhere. Alvin makes fun of me for it all the time. Okay, I'm gonna take a duo fiber brush and just blend this out a little bit more before we go into the contour or the bronzer shade. All right, so now for bronzer, I'm gonna use the same kind of technique and just tap a brush in. I'm gonna use the shade Incense. I'm gonna tap the brush in and then again, oh, this, one, this brush is a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna try and make you a little smaller okay so I did it you see how pigmented that is then I'm gonna do the same thing and just dab it off see right there so that's a nice shade for a bronzer so mm. oh okay I think that turned out pretty cool sweet now for blush I was thinking of just going with the shade love which is kind of like this little light pink shade right here I was debating using it's eccentric, which is kind of like an orangey, burnt sienna shade down there, but I don't know what I'm going to do for the eye look, and I kind of want to go for like a dark eye look, so I don't want to go too crazy on the blush, you know? So I'm going to do kind of the same thing, just kind of tap my blush brush in, and I'm going to tap it off of my wrist this time because I think it's going to stain the back of my hand, and go for a blush. I will say this side is looking really powdery, but I haven't used setting spray yet, so I'm going to reserve the judgment there until I finish with setting spray. So for face highlighter, I think really the only shimmery shade light enough for me to use is going to be Dreamer, the very light shade over here. So I'm going to use just a fluffy highlighter brush and tap off the excess and just go right in. Yep, that's bright. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit on my cupid's bow and then a little bit on the tip of my nose. 
And then just to blend that out, I'm gonna use Duo Fiber Brush. Okay, so honestly, I'm pretty surprised so far. It looks really nice, though I am looking really powdery. I'm hoping that that really goes away once we go into setting spray. So before I move on to the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and prime, and then I'm going to set that primer with the lightest shade in here, which is called Base. And for my eye primer, I'm going to use the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And then I'm going to just soak my face in setting spray. <laughs> I'm going to use a combination of um, the Milani Make It Last for Sunscreen and then MAC Fix Plus. So I will do all of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I've got setting spray on. I finished, I just threw in a little bit of brow gel in my brows, and then I set my eyes with some primer. And honestly, now that the powderiness is gone, this looks really good. I actually really like the base that we have. So for my eye look, I really wanted to do something kind of dramatic, kind of dark. I'm not working today. I'm actually off today. So I really wanted to go with kind of a deep, smoky eye. So I think I kind of really want to start with the shade like incense and blend it out with these two shimmer shades. I think it's going to look really pretty and then maybe go all over the lid with the shade summer or maybe that bright shade I use as a highlight. So I'm going to start with that first shade and I have to remember how to use ABH or these older ABH shadows anyway because they're so soft and they're so pigmented. I, they really only need like a little bit. It actually makes me nostalgic for when I um, when I panned ABH Subculture. I had so much fun panning that palette. If you missed it, I'll throw that whole playlist up in the cards. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Dazzling. The, the, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I just dug my finger into one of the other shades. Okay, so I'm going to create a wing using a card, and I think I'm going to use the shade Volatile. And I'm going to just... Pack that on to the outer third to make a nice wing. Okay, so we've got a good base there for the eyeshadow. Now for the all over lid color. Hmm. Do I want to do rose gold? Okay, so I blended both the shimmer summer and rose gold on my hand on top of each other, and I think that's actually a really nice shade. So I'm gonna do that on the lid. And I think the way I'm gonna do it is mix it, like pre-mix a little bit of it on my finger, like on my hand, and then go into the glitter glue. Okay, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of that volatile dark matte shade again and just kind of blend in to the shimmer at the edge. Perfect, so let me go ahead and do the other side. Awesome. So that came out really good. For the lower lash line, I kind of wanted to do a different like pop of color. I don't know if I want to do like the blue purple or if I should go with like the orange and the red. Hmm. 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 I'm kind of feeling red. Okay. So I'm going to go in with these two shades down here for the lower lash line. Oh, I could do one color for each lower lash line. Do I want to mix it up or should I just blend them together? Hmm. Hmm. Let's do one on each side, and if I don't like it, we'll blend it together. Okay, so I will say, like, from far away, I don't think you can tell the difference too much in the two shades, but close up, I think it looks really cool. Yeah, so, like, from this distance, I think you can see, like, the distinction between, like, kind of, like, the burgundy on this side and, like, the orange on this side, and I like how that looks. And here's the final look. I have to say, I'm very impressed with how this came out. Like, I thought it would come out decent because I knew we had some decent shades to pick from for bronze or contour. But I'm impressed. Like, this looks really nice, right? I'm happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought of this look, if you have the original Norvina palette, and if you still use it, and what other palettes you want to see me do this full face palette challenge with next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram page. I actually did a poll to help pick this palette out of my palette collection. So thank you to everyone who voted in that poll. Make sure you follow me there if you want to be included whenever I do extra polls or I post questions for what I want to film next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.